could see there's only one plane I can use. This is the part four of my challenge. If you want to know the rules, go to part one. Oh, hey, look, an annoying gimmick. Where it freezes my plants. Popcat went double or nothing with this one with the two gimmicks. This is the hardest world so far because it gives you so much dumb sh But since I don't hate myself enough, let's make a new challenge. New rule, sunflowers <laughs> off. Sunflower and walnuts will now be my only backup plants. I can't use this guy until I get pepper bolt. Uh, I love the easy levels. This won't last long. Oh, hey, a conveyor belt level level three already. Showcasing a premium plant. Man, Popcat loves trying to get your money. Level four was easy, but we did get a new enemy. This guy. Wait, looks pretty familiar. But I don't know what. And then level five, you know, pretty easy. But I got to try out Pepper Paul for the first time, and I'm gonna love when I can finally unlock him. So I can burn all these zombies to a fucking crisp. Yes, I can finally burn all these zombies. All the zombies will fear me. The rest of this world will be easy. Right? Well, before I got my shit handed to me, level 7 was actually pretty easy. We did it first try. Oh, hey, look, level 8. Another conveyor belt level. This is getting really tedious now. They're constantly giving conveyor belt levels, which is like making my challenge not even a challenge because there's not enough levels to do a challenge in. On day 8, we did come across a new zombie. It's a beefed up bucket head. As you can expect, it's the blockhead. I fucking hate him. And hey, there's another zombie. I didn't have to say none, just... Another zombie that was the cause of a bunch of my losses. This is getting really tedious now. Oh, I already hated him. You didn't have to send a whole damn row of them. And hey, look, the cause of this level's loss, it's the damn dodos. Luckily, on my second try, I beat it. Let's hope there's no more hard levels like that. Day 10, another conveyor belt level. What the fuck? Hey, Pop Guy, can you actually give me normal levels for once so I can actually beat the game legitimately saying, oh, hey, I beat some of the game with only lovers. Day 11 took me three tries. Oh, hey, look, another plan I can't use. And before, I wouldn't even be able to use him because he does a little bit of damage. Oh, Pop Cat. I am really starting to hate this challenge. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't beat this level on the first try. Well, I guess while you wait, I can tell you a fact about me. Did you know my birthday is on the day of independence, July 4th? But I came back on my second try, as you can see right here, and I beat the level with ease. Like the easiest thing ever. The easy peasy thing. Oh, hey, my most hated gimmicky levels. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think you can see where this is going. Yeah, I really hated this level. Oh, you wanna know the main reason of the cause? Yeah, yeah, how'd you know? How'd you know it was the blockheads? The thing that they spam this whole level that can tank apparently more damage than a fucking tank. And I constantly get my plants frozen over, which makes me constantly lose over and over and over and over again. Because of these stupid blockheads. They can take so much damage and it's just pissing me off. Oh, look at here. He went through all my defenses and he's still not even that damaged. I mean, just look at this. He went through all of that. Listen, we don't talk about attempt four. Attempt four just didn't go so well. Now we're at attempt eight. And look at here. I finally, we finally got to the point where the Gargantua was. And we actually won! And then it actually went easy on me and gave me free sunflowers. And technically, I didn't plant them, so it's allowed. And he gave me a free pea shooter. Man, the rest of this world's gonna be easy. <laughs> Let me tell you about day 15, or as you could say, 
day pain in my ass because you got to protect these two plants and I just this pissing me off because first you got the panel switchers and then it gives you dirty birds and hey look you even got blockheads which tank damage so yes this level is just my whole level of hell well look at here dirty birds can fly over blockheads tank everything oh screw this put my death counter in the corner and just put a montage This level is so annoying that I had to bring up my backup. On try 21, I finally did it. As you can see here, all the pain I went through. Look at this. Look at what all the shit it puts you to on this level. And I finally, I finally did it. I finally beat the level. In day 16, which was actually real easy. In day 17, huh, day 17. Listen, it was hard. But it wasn't no day 15. That's all I'm gonna say. And hey, we got a new zombie at least. He just pushes ice. That has imps in it. That's it. Nothing. He's just stronger than a normal zombie after that. He's pointless. I usually beat day 18. Day 19 was really easy. I mean, they're even giving me my own sons at this point, which I deserve. The pain I got put through for day 15, I deserve everything. Then it gave me a plant that's pointless because I'm not gonna use it, cause you know. On my first try, I actually lost day 20. Day 20, it's hard. That's all I gotta say, it's just hard. And I beat it on a 10-5. Wait, I'm done with this. I'm gonna have fun whether you like it or not. And the next level was an annoying conveyor belt, so you know what? I'm gonna use my abilities this whole time because I'm done with this. I <sighs> finally got my breeze out. Now I can- No, it can't be. No, please. Please, no. no. Oh no, 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 no! The weasels. They're like chickens, but the chickens could die in one shot. These. these monsters. They're monsters. They're. they're my nightmares. Th th these things. They're just a pain in the ass. I already had enough time with the chickens. Now I gotta deal with you. And at least the chickens, every time I had to deal with them, I always had enough time to get my melons. But I don't even have enough time to get my melons with these guys.
And hey, look, the tribe beat them. Guess what I finally actually was able to get? The melons. And it's because I had to bring up my backup sunflowers again. This is the third time in the same world that I had to bring up my backup sunflowers. You gotta be fucking kidding me. When I tell you this is the hardest world yet, I mean it. This is the fourth level in this world that took me over 10 tries. The hardest part about this level is the weasels. I can't do nothing. Cause since I can't reflourish his like vines or whatever, what the fuck, I don't know what the hell he is. I can't do it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Sunflowers, I need you again. Oh. Another gimmicky level. And don't think 24 will be way easier, like I did. Because it wasn't. It took me three tries to get this one. I was so done with this level, so on try 3, I just stalled the last blockhead and spammed the most sunflowers ever just to beat it. Day 25, I got to have some fun with Rutabaga. You can see I could be rooting for his success. <laughs> Ow, I deserve that. But day 26 was also easy. Besides the point that I failed the first try. Oh hey, another protect the endangered plants level. But it's also hard. And because of the blockheads, again. Because the blockheads are so hard to do it. I had to bring back the sunflowers and walnuts. Again! So many gimmicky levels. Okay. Listen, I lost my first try. It's probably because my setup was ass, but then again. And hey, if you're still watching, if you can, can you please subscribe? I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Every single video I do is really hard to make, and it takes me time. I put a lot of effort into them. So if all you can really do for me, please, is just hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Luckily on day 28, my setup beat it on the second try. It was pretty easy. Hold up, the last level and it's a gimmicky level? What? And yes, I beat the level on his first try because 29 was surprisingly like the easiest level in this whole world. I'm gonna try to beat Dr. Zalbus as fast as I can. Time this and put the time in the chat for me. This is my part four, and Ice Age has finally been beaten. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I got the key to Lost City.